In this video, we'll talk about installing the cap driver on your Highland 1501 Breeze embroidery machine. Once I've removed the tubular arms that uh, hold my flat hoops in place, I'll then grab my cap driver and I'm going to slide the bed arm, which is right here, I'm going to slide that through the middle of the black ring. Once I have it through into the back, I'll then slide it around until the pegs, which are here on my back rail, line up with the holes on my cap driver. And once I have those pegs going through their respective holes, I'll then take the uh, black thumb screws that came off when I removed my tubular arms and screw them in in the holes right next to the pegs. I just need to go hand tight on those. I don't need to torque down on these screws as if I torque them down, it'll make it really hard to get them off when I am going to remove my cap driver. Once I have those black knobs uh, nice and snug, I'll then grab my three millimeter Allen wrench and the Allen screw. And I am going to screw in this Allen screw right in the middle of my cap driver onto the slider bearing, which is attached to the machine permanently. I'll line everything up and screw in my Allen screw. Again, I don't need to torque it down, just need to go hand tight, nice and snug, so that uh, this screw holds my cap driver in place. Once I have it tight, my cap driver is now installed and I'm ready to begin embroidering my first cap. 